Hey guys, Silver Source here. Welcome to a new video. So today I have been buying some more junk silver. Uh, I've got some 90% and some 40%, I believe. Um, it's Swedish. Uh, but I actually have had a little look at this bag already. And it's actually 80%, not 40%. Uh, I've checked on a few different websites. So it's all Swedish. And uh, we've got some one krona and two krona. So I think I've uh, come across a bit of a bargain, to be honest. Um, so this is 1910. Uh, some of the dates are up to about 1940, I think. And I believe up until 1942 was when these one and two krona, which are you know pretty nice looking coins there, um, is when they had 80% silver. So. Same silver as a Canadian dollar, uh, which I haven't got to hand. Um, but yeah, what, what I was just noticing when you like listen to the coins. There's obviously that ring to it compared to, say, these, which are Cooper and Nickel, they're not uh, silver. Oops. The uh, silver sounds obviously a lot lighter, um, and yeah, it's not quite sterling, but it's not far off. Uh, and then this little bag here, I think this is the 40% that uh, I will check the dates on those. There's some dates I'm not familiar with. Um, I've got some of these coins already. Ah, oh, that might be a different bag actually. I ordered from a... Uh, the same seller. This could be uh, the mixed lot. Uh, I think it's 40% though that. So anyway, I'll check that. There's not uh, a great deal there, but there is a bit. And then here, we have some beautiful big 90% silver coins. Now these have, these have a bit of weight to them. Uh, yeah, so if you got your American junk silver at 90%, this is I guess the Swedish equivalent, and you know you can feel the weight of those. They're big coins. Um, haven't really anything to compare it with, but uh, yeah, they're all well packaged, like little bundles like this. And this is why I always unbox off camera because uh, you know you've got like bulletproof packaging, and then things like this to actually get through once you've got into the package. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut this open. So yeah, once again, um, we've basically been buying cheap silver. Uh, it's more or less, you know, bought for scrap and melt price. Uh, I can't remember the exact price I paid at the time for this, but um, you know, usually with this particular seller. Um, he sells, you know, numismatic coins and collectibles, uh, not to me, but to, you know, people who are interested in that kind of thing. And uh, then I guess all the all the scrap is uh, going to me, or at least, you know, the the selection I'm I'm buying. Um, so yeah, for me, what we basically do is weigh the, you know, just weigh the bag of coins. Let's say it's forty percent. You know, let's say there's uh, two hundred grams. So it's 200 grams of, of coins, but only 40% of silver. So we multiply the 200 grams by 0.4, you know, 40%. And uh, that gives us uh, a number, what would that be, 80? 80 grams of fine weight, if my maths is correct. Let's just, let's just pretend it's 50%, you know. So if it's 50% of 200 grams, it's obviously 100 grams of fine weight. I don't want to put any pressure on myself doing public maths this time of day. And uh, let's say it's 50%, you know, it gives us our 100 grams. And then we multiply it by the melt price of silver um, or, you know, it, a bit less, depending, you know, just what it is. Um, so let's say at the time it's, you know, 53 pence per gram. We multiply that together and that would give us 53 pounds. Um, and that's what I'd pay, you know, 
sometimes with the postage, sometimes it just depends what it is. Um, so yeah, for, for the sort of cheap, unregistered, uh, uninsured postage, you know, it's, it's a couple of pounds, like might be three pounds to send, uh, you know, this package. And so, uh, yeah, it's a cheap way of getting some good silver. I actually, uh, I really like these actually. They're a nice, they're a nice coin. They're a good size. And the fact that they're 90% uh, just means that it's, you know, it's dense. There's a lot of silver there in that size of coins. Uh, let me just whip the scales out. So you can see. Uh, and let's see what we've got. Let's have that. So yeah, in these uh, three little stacks, they're about the size of a, a crown or, you know, a dollar or so, something like that. So there we have 901 grams of 90%. So that would be 810 uh, fine silver grams, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, nice, uh, nice bit of weight there. Uh, 800 and something grams. So we're looking 20 something ounces. And uh, you know, it's cheap and uh, silver. Um, yeah, if you compare these, these uh, sort of sterling silver pieces I've got just uh, left out, they're a bit smaller, but the, like I say, the sterling 92.5, and this is 90%. So similar to your, you know, American junk, silver, um, a bit less silver than the silver crowns, and uh, pre-20 British, and a bit more silver than the 72% of the pesos. So yeah, nice these. Um, some of the other, you know, mixed world lots I've had, um, where they've got, you know, smaller purities, um, they, they're a bit annoying, you know, I'd rather just have like 90%, 50%, you know, 80%. The, obviously the higher purity better, but it's just easier having less little bags. But it's not, it's not too difficult. Like say if this was all 40% and I was coming to sell it, I'd literally, you know, weigh the bag okay it's this much and uh, just sell it like that rather than sorting through every individual coin and specifying every individual purity etc so what did we got we got the 90 percent 80 percent so we've got 1.6 there um yeah we've, we've got a kilo and a bit of uh, of silver so pretty happy with that and it's, it's in the stack. You know, the kilo bars, obviously a bit more dense, but pretty happy with those. So that is, uh, that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to talking to you in the comments.